what's up you guys so on the last problem we just did you know uh counter controlled repetition so we found the average of 10 students but let's say for example if you know one of the kids decides to play hooky and there's only like six kids and our, our teacher doesn't know how to find the average of like six students or like varying number of students then we're gonna use a sentinel controlled repetition so basically we're gonna tell when the we input our grades we're gonna tell when to stop and find the average of the number of grades we input so here we go let's get started just do all this stuff so yeah basically we want to initialize the total to zero the counter to zero we want to input the grade and we keep inputting the grade until the user on, or on the prompt tells us not to tells us to stop tells us to stop and then we want to that's when we do the average so we're going to add the grade to the total blah 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 add one to the grade counter blah blah, blah. And then if the counter is not equal to zero, we set the average, then we print the average. So let's just write the program to see how it works. So first things first, we just put int main to start the function. And then we get the... Uh, no, let me just clean this up first. So we want to have a variable called counter, a variable called grade. We got the semicolons. And a variable called total. And for an average, we want to set float average. The reason we use float is because float holds decimal numbers, so these are only whole numbers, so for float, the average can be decimal number. So that's what basically what float is, but let's set our total to zero, equal to zero. And let's set our counter equal to zero. So basically this initializes the total and the loop counter. So basically it starts to zero, but let's print F for the user to see. Enter grade. And negative one to end. So basically, we're we're gonna ask the user to enter negative one when they want to end the program, and find the average of the total number he entered, total quizzes or students grades he entered. And we're gonna store this scan f. I scan the screen, and we're gonna store it in. and percent grade we're gonna start in grade you guys all right so we're gonna keep looping while the sentinel volume has not been read so if the negative one has not been read yet we're gonna do a while loop when grade is not equal to one, or yeah, whoops, yeah, negative one, because that's what we said in the prompt. But so when grade is not equal to one, we're gonna keep looping. So we're gonna do a counter. counter 
and we're going to keep adding so this does a plus one each time or actually this is not the plus one this is the sum and here's the counter counter plus one plus one and next we're gonna print F enter grade negative 1 to n so same thing we're gonna do the same thing so let's just copy this Where's my copy, 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 copy? So, control C, control V. Oh, and there you go. And then we're going to end the while. And then we're going to do an if statement. If counter is not equal to zero, so basically, this is saying if the user enters at least one grade. We're going to do this, so if counter equals, if not equal, to, we're going to find the average, average is equal to float. total divided by counter so we do this to avoid tr truncation truncation yeah all right so the next line we're gonna do um we're gonna print so this calculates the class average, but now we're going to print the class average. Class average is percent point two F backslash average. So basically, we use F because average is a float. Average is a float. So instead of percent %d, we use F. And since this is a decimal number, we use point 0.2 or any point number. If you want to use two digits of precision, precision. So like after the this decimal if you want to use like three decimals because you know how numbers if we do like two divided by three it's going to be like point six 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 or whatever so if you guys want to round it just do this point two so it'll be point six seven so that's what basically that's what this means right here So if our counter is not equal to zero, we can use an else statement. Else and print F. So 
So if the user doesn't enter anything at all, we're going to print this. No grades were entered. Backslash. Then we're basically done, and we just we can just add a return zero. All right, so let's build and run to see how this works. Come on, come on. Okay. So here's an example. So let's say like there's two kids. Who are like I don't know they're like badass they don't want to go to class so we can do 75 94 97 88 70 64 83 89 and then we're gonna enter negative one to end it and here we go and the class average is 82.50 of 8 students and their scores. And there you go.